Today I'm going to show you the easy way how to install Windows 10 on your laptop or desktop using the latest release version. This was the latest version released during the time of this recording. First of all you have to understand the two boot mods of Windows 10. The UEFI and Legacy and 32-bit and 64-bit version. 32-bit operating systems can handle up to 4 GB of RAM, whereas 64-bit operating systems can support more than 4 GB and it's usually used for new computers. 64-bit can support more drivers and have better performance comparing to 32-bit version. Remember that 64-bit Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, and Education will support up to 2 terabytes of RAM, while the 64-bit version of Windows 10 Home is limited to only 128 gigabytes. Now, let's move on. We have to have at least 8 gigabytes of flash drive since the ISO file itself is approximately 5.73 gigabytes. Open your web browser and go to google.com. Now, search for Windows 10 download. Click on the microsoft.com website. Scroll down and click download tool now. After download, install the application. Double click on the file and wait for it to load. You can now plug in your flash drive while installing the application. The flash drive will be formatted so make sure to back up if you have important files. Now, click on Accept. In this window, you have to select Create Installation Media for another PC then click Next. In this page, it is automatically set to recommended options, however, you can uncheck the box and modify it or change the language. I will use the recommended options for this demonstration. After everything is set click Next. In this window, click on USB flash drive since we are creating a bootable flash drive. You may select DVD if you are creating bootable DVD and click Next. This is very important. Make sure that your flash drive has been selected. You can click on the refresh drive list if you can't see your USB. Click Next to start creating bootable USB. Now, the media creation tool will automatically download and create bootable USB. Be patience. This process will takes time depends on your internet speed. Sit tight. And enjoy the ride. Once it's done, just click on finish. Before we we proceed with the installation, you must back up and save your important files and documents. Make sure to plug in your laptop adapter. And lastly for desktop, Ensure no power interruption. We will now proceed with the Windows 10 installation using the bootable USB we just created. First, turn off your laptop or desktop. Plug in your USB and power on your device. Be ready to press your boot menu key. I'm using Lenovo ThinkPad so mine is Function Plus F12. Yours would be different depending on the model of your device. Here are the list of boot menu keys. For Lenovo press F12 or function plus F12. In this window, select USB HDD, generic flash disk. Now, in this screen, you may change the language or just click next. Click on install now. In this window, you may input your product key if you have one and you want to activate now or you can select I don't have a product key if you want to activate it afterwards. Click on Next. We will select Windows 10 Pro since it has the full features in the list. Click on Next Proceed.
you have to accept the license terms and click next to continue. Since we are doing a fresh install we will select the custom, install windows only. You have two options, you can simply click next if you don't want to create a partition. But if you do, I will show you how. Click on new and enter the size of the partition by megabytes. I enter 102,500 because I want my primary or drive C to be exactly 100 gigabytes. You can see I have 100 gigabytes of primary drive since Widows will automatically create system and reserved partition. Now, there's a free unallocated space, I usually use for my file storage, backup files or important files. Click on the unallocated space and click new to create it as one partition. If you are not going to create another partition then simply click on apply. I will show you how to install without creating a partition. First, we need to delete all the partition we created. Now, click on the unallocated space and click New, click on Apply and click on OK. Now, click on the primary drive and click Next to proceed. This process will takes time. Your device will automatically reboot several times. Please do not turn off or reboot your device manually and do not remove the bootable USB during the installation. You can select your region, I will leave it as default for this demonstration. After select, click on yes. In this window, you have to select your keyboard layout, I recommend you to use the default US, you may change it based on your likings and click yes. I don't want to add second keyboard so I just select skip. Select setup for personal use or you can select setup for organization depending on your product key. Click next. Click on offline account or you can log in or create your own Microsoft account. Select limited experience. Now, enter your desired name. You can enter anything you want and click next. I don't want to create my own password so I will just click next. You can read these privacy setting. You can turn on or turn off based on your likings. Once you're done selecting click on accept. I don't need Contana so I will select not now. We're almost done. For this new release 20H2 the default installed browser is Microsoft Edge, unlike other previous Windows version. The default browser is Internet Explorer. Every time we do fresh install or upgrade, we must install or update the drivers for your device to work properly and efficiently. First, let's check if what are the drivers that has been automatically installed and what are the drivers needs to upgrade or install. From here, you can see that there are some drivers that needs to install and upgrade. Even this display adapter haven't been installed so we must update and install these drivers. Let's start, open any browser and go to google.com. Now, search for Driver Booster. Click for the Download Driver Booster. Click for Free Download. Click for Free Download again and it will automatically download the file. Now, double click on the downloaded file to proceed with the installation.
click on install. From here, click on no thanks. Click next and wait for it to finish. Click on No Thanks. We must uncheck the Learn More online then click on Scan Now. Be patient during the scanning process. It will automatically scan and detect all the driver's needs to be updated and installed. If you want this application, you can activate for full features. After finished scanning you can see that we have 15 outdated device drivers. Click on Update now to update all those outdated drivers. Uncheck the Don't Remind Me again. During the installation you may encounter black screen or your screen will blink few times due to installation of the video device driver. Click on OK. Now wait for it to download the required drivers. This process won't take long depends on your internet speed and resources. Click on OK, this will create a restore point for backup purposes only. Now, wait for it to install all the drivers that has been downloaded. This will takes time so I have to fast forward the video. Click on Close. Finally. You can now see that the driver update has been completed. But we need to reboot to take effect. Click on Reboot. Click on Yes to reboot your device. After reboot, we will now check if all the device drivers are installed and up to date. Right click on My Computer. Click on Manage. and go to Device Manager. Let's check out the Display Adapter, Success. You can see that the driver has been installed. Also the Network Adapters has been updated. You cannot see any exclamation or question mark. I had been using this application for couple of years without any issue totally secured, safe and reliable. Today, I will be showing you how to install applications on your new installed Windows operating system. First, open your browser and go to 99.com. This site is very helpful since mostly of the common used application will be there and even the most updated one. It is totally a one-stop free shop. I recommend this site to everyone. You can select any application you want or you need. We will install few application for this demonstration purposes only. For web browser, let's go for Chrome and Firefox. For messaging let's just select Skype. For media let's choose VLC. You can check all these free applications. Lastly, we are going to select WinRAR. Let's just install those four common used application for now for the sake of this demonstration. Now, click on Get Your Ninite. Wait for it to download the file. Once completed, double click the downloaded file. Click on Run. That's all. It's very easy and convenient right? No need to search for applications and download them one by one. Now, all you need is to wait for it to install the selected application. You can also review the selected applications that are being installed. 
This may take time depending on what application you choose and also rely on your internet speed, so please be patient. Check the desktop to see the installed applications. Now, click on close. I really hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Also share with your friends. Thank you.